Chancellor Woodson, I present these candidates. Who, when asked, so what can you do with a degree in humanities and social science? I am communication. I am English. I am sociology and anthropology. I am history. I am social work. I am public and international affairs. I am interdisciplinary studies. I am philosophy and religious studies. I am psychology. I am foreign languages and literatures. Studying in the humanities and social sciences prepares students for every possible kind of career. In particular, because we're often not training students for particular jobs, but we're tra training students with a skill set that they can apply to any endeavor that they should apply themselves to in the future. We make sure that we have students that come out that are well trained methodologically and they can contribute, uh, produce their own research, and, and consume their own research, uh, and, uh, and also have a good understanding about the information that's out there as well. The way that you can integrate both understanding science and then also kind of these broader social science and humanities frameworks related to science, I think um, there's very, really very few places that you can do that, and NC State is one of them. We have such a great, strong, broad portfolio uh, from uh, IT networking, ag and bio life sciences, um, nanotechnologies, uh, material sciences, advanced manufacturing. We have all these different groups. Well, when you start to converge those together, which is what's happening in industry today, and then you add in the strong skills of people in communications and media and writing, so you have all those arts and humanities and communications added in, you'll have no other region like ours in the world in terms of that, in terms of that convergence. Even the most technical employee needs to have some skills, sometimes you call them soft skills, and that means that some of the humanities and social sciences as part of the background for employees is extremely important. Um, we work in teams and very often being able to work well in a team um, takes a slightly different background than say a highly technical without some of the soft skills. So what can you do with a degree in the humanities and social sciences? We'll answer that question anything I want. <laughs>